Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. And a lot of y'all have asked, hey man, what do you use to edit your drone videos? Now this, this video that you're watching now, what I'm gonna do within this video is just give you a high level equipment overview of what I use in the Irix Guy's Adventure Channel Studio currently. Now, in the past I've used IMAX, very good computer, uh, very powerful all-in-one computer, but if you do a lot of, uh, in my scenario, I do a lot of adventure travel, so I was tasked with either, okay, have an iMac and have a MacBook Pro, which I've done for a while, or just get a really decked out MacBook Pro and use it in the studio as well as while I'm traveling throughout the world. So what I use right now is an i9 MacBook Pro and you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find, uh, well, the, you know, the high end and the, this is the high end MacBook Pro. Now I didn't go all out with the uh, flash memory and all that because I wanted to keep the, uh, wanted to keep the cost palatable. But, and on this, and you can't see it behind my monitor, but this is connected to an eGPU. So I'm running an external graphics processing unit, which makes having multiple monitors easily doable, but it also speeds up certain portions of my video editing workflow. So that's back behind there. I've got, a, I think this is a 32, and then this over here is a 27. And the dual monitor is important for me because what I can do is I can have my Final Cut Pro 10, which is right here on the primary monitor. And then on the other monitor, I can have the various assets like my intro clips, outro clips, uh, sound effects, etc. So it makes, uh, see, you know, and obviously I can drag between the two monitors, it makes the editing a lot more streamlined. Now, I have a 14 terabyte hard drive tucked away behind there, and that's where I retain all of my Final Cut Pro video projects. So it's the master. So anytime I go to a professional shoot, and I capture the video, I retain all that video on my 14 terabyte external hard drive that's back there. And then I've got an online backup, a secure cloud backup that keeps that backed up. So should that hard drive fail, I've got an online backup of all the videos that it contains. And I've, I've actually had a hard drive fail. And fortunately, because of the online backup, I was able to, uh, to retrieve those videos. And I mean, these videos aren't cheap. I mean, when you factor in when you factor in the travel cost to go to and from the filming location, uh, then you've got the uncertainties associated with weather. Obviously, especially for you know for something like this one right here that I've got up, if it was if it was cloudy weather, that drone flight would not look good because the water would be dark. It wouldn't be glowing like it is right there. So you know you got to factor in all this stuff. So that video, every video clip that I capture. It's super important for me to retain that video and do so in a way where I've got a backup. So that's that's how I back up. As far as uh, editing is concerned, I use a, and this probably this term will probably uh, irritate a lot of people, but I use what's called a scratch disk because I didn't go with the very large internal flash in the MacBook Pro because that's where the cost really rockets, you know, when you get the, when you get the larger flash drive. So what I did, I just got a cheap external moderate size. I mean, it's only 512 gig, but 512 gig SSD that I use for my editing. So when I say scratch, what I mean is I've got my, my uh, 14 terabyte that, that saves all the master footage. But then when I'm editing a project, I edit that on my scratch drive so that, you know, I'm not consuming more of my 14 terabyte drive. Because right now I think I've got about, I think I've only got about four terabytes of that remaining. I mean, that's how much 4K high quality video I've got. But I'll edit my projects. And for most of my projects, you know, Irish Guys Adventure Channel, you know, I'm not, a lot of the edited clips, unless it's a super time consuming edit, a lot of the edited clips, I'm not going to save the uh, the edited project. I'll just save the 
raw video that I used within the edited project. So that's why I call it a scratch disc because I, I go in, I edit, I upload to YouTube, and then I delete the information from the scratch disc. However, I retain the original raw video on my 14 terabyte that's also backed up to the cloud, to the internet. The cloud is a is a is an up and coming word for how to describe the internet. I think it's stupid, but and I just did it. I called it a cloud backup. But uh, yeah, and I like the cloud backup because it's affordable, and I don't have to deal with uh, having extra disk. You know, my workspace right now, as you can tell, is kind of messy. You know, I got to clean this up, but I've got a lot of projects in progress right now, and you know, my my objective right now is to continue to pump out content. And then I'm really going to tweak the studio. I've got uh, I've got new flooring coming in, so I've got this old torn up carpet. But I got I got new flooring coming in. So this this thing, I'm about to deck this out. And a lot of y'all are like, man, you got two monitors. Why don't you have three? Well, I do. If I pop open my laptop, I can use that as a third. I would I would rather have the extra space on my desktop than to have a third 27 inch display. So you know, it doesn't have to be, for editing, it doesn't have to be an expensive setup. And again, you know, you may prefer, you may prefer a, an iMac and you may not want extra monitors. You know, you, you may be perfectly okay with an iMac because you may not be editing while you're on the road. But if you're like me and you don't want to have both an iMac and a laptop, you know, you may want to go with a higher end laptop like I did. Or maybe you want to keep it on the cheap and you want to go with something, maybe you've already got a mouse and keyboard and you want to go with something cheap, well not cheap but less expensive, and you want to go with like a Mac Mini solution. You know, basically just plug in the, the Mac to an existing monitor and keyboard and mouse and go edit. So there's a lot of options and I just wanted to show you all what I use currently. And again, I've used the iMac in the past. I love the iMac. And I've used an iMac in conjunction with a with a lower end MacBook in the past. And that worked well, but what I found is that when I wanted to pick up my studio and take it on the road, it was a subpar performance. You know, it was it it it, it performed in a subpar fashion, meaning that it wasn't nearly as fast as my iMac. But you know, with this higher end uh MacBook Pro, you know, I can when I'm in the studio and I'm connected to my eGPU with my multiple monitors. This thing is a beast, and, you know, on the road, it's a beast as well. I mean, obviously, I don't take my monitors with me on the road, but it's nice just having that one computer and being able to go from desktop to, to mobile without, you know, without any sort of uh, big headaches. I mean, all I got to do is just, you know, shut down the eGPU and then pull my cables out, you know, and obviously eject my hard drive, so it's pretty idiot-proof. So I just wanted to share this. Obviously, this is what I use for all my drone editing. You've asked how I edit my drone videos. This is the equipment that I use for that. This is the equipment that I use for all of my Our Skies Adventure Channel videos for the editing. So ask any questions that you may have within the comment section below. And uh, again, expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order the, uh, the various Macs that I mentioned online. I've also linked these monitors. I think they're really good uh, as far as price performance ratio is concerned. I think the price to performance is is very good for these monitors. And they're they're I mean, now that's one thing I will say about the iMac. If you go with the iMac, the display integrated into the iMac is amazing. And these monitors, although they're good, they're not quite as good as that iMac's display. So, you know, if you're if you don't care about portability, you know, you may want to steer towards the iMac as the single computer, you know, if you don't care about portability. So, I mean, that's, again, personal preference. You know, what is your use case? And I understand a lot of y'all, I mean, y'all may just be wanting to casually edit drone videos. I mean, you may not be running a large YouTube channel. You may not have a desire to do so, but you may want to have equipment like I use to edit your videos for whatever purposes. So, you know, that's why I wanted to share this. I mean, this video is 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 for everyone and 
And again, you know, if you can't find what you're looking for linked within this video's description, just comment below and ask, and I'll try my best to answer. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Captain Irix guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever i post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day